Welcome to edisari.com, your partner in education. In this session, we'll discuss the concept of common confusables again. In the last session, in the last video, you learned about what are common confusables, and uh, we also learned about the homophones, homonyms, and homographs. We did certain tricks by which we can memorize and ease our uh, memory, like, you know, th that was an aid to the memory tool by which we could memorize that how do we, uh, you know, interpret the meaning of the words that are often confused. And uh, like there were many different tricks by which we could analyze. If you've not done that video, you can do it right now, or you can do that after watching this video. In this video, we'll learn about how to solve the questions of common confusables. Now, what is the style of the question? In this question, the uh, common confusables, you're given a set of four or five sentences, and each sentence has a pair of common confusables. You need to interpret that which among the uh, between the given options would actually be uh, the most appropriate uh, word that completes the sentence. Now, if I have to write that, I'll say that supposedly the first sentence would be like this, and the second would be again this, and the third would also be the same, fourth would also be the same, and fifth would also be the same. And in the option they said like option number A would be A A A A A. Option number B would be A B A B. A, something like this right now this means that the first sentence the answer is this in the second sentence the answer is a the third sentence answer is and so on and this according to the second the option like the, if, if the answer is second one so the first sentence the answer is a whereas the, in the second one it's b and the third one again it's a like this so there would be a PNC, it will be a combination of five or six uh, sequences. It will be a sequence that will be filled in this uh, option, as, will be given to you as an option. You need to select the most appropriate out of these, right? Um, select the one, like you, you need to analyze which option is the correct sequence of the uh, given common confusables, all the five sentences starting from the number one. The option that selects the correct alternative from the given pair of the confusables would be the correct answer. Now, the best method to solve this uh, common confusable thing is that we apply the trick of option scanning. Now, you're given four to five sentences, and obviously that's uh, because we have to save a lot of time. So we'll select the uh, out of these five, we select just two or three those sentences which you are easily and comfortable and damn sure about that this is the answer that we we have just selected out of the given options where in which option does these three alternatives fit as per your choice the one that does that would be the correct option um, this is uh, this sounds a little confusing but when we do the questions we'll get to understand so we'll do certain examples by which we learn how to save the time right let us take the first example you're given a set of these five sentences you can pause the video right now and think about which uh, options will fill the proper, you know, the, the correct uh, sequence of the options. Now, again, I'll just tell you that here, if so, for example, it's not the answer, if, if, if it is the answer or it is not, supposingly if you select the option number A as answer, that would mean that out of the, in the first sentence, the answer would be nervousness, in the second, the answer would be extent, the third, it will be exalted, fourth, it will be especially, and fifth, it would be uh, Eight. And if you choose this as your answer, that would mean that in all these sentences, enormity, extent, exalted, especially in aid would be the answer, right? So just think about what would be the answer. Just pause the video here. Now, uh, you might have uh, come across various uh, answers with yourself. Now, what do we do is we'll select the ones, those confusables, which you can easily find the answers to, right? Now, for example, I choose the fifth one. Aid is the help, whereas aid is the person that helps you. This is something that I know, right? So aid is the help, uh, like aid is the help that you get, whereas aid is a person that you employ or is available as an assistant to you. Rain was forecast to continue through the week, slowing the dash sent by government. Now, the government cannot send a person to you to help, right? So obviously, we will be sending you a person that will help you. So I'll select the option as the, the the fifth option must be the first option that is A. So I'll choose all those alternatives which have A as the fifth option. So I'll eliminate option number A and D since here I have A and A. Now I'll select those alternatives. Uh, out of this, where is the difference? The difference lies in only these two letters. So I just need to see that out of B and C, which one 
would be the answer once i get the answer of either b or c i'll get the answer right so to what lens have they searched for the dash manuscripts uh, manuscripts of the white house address either it can be extant or it could be extant extant is surviving and extant is uh, the area right surviving that is they are still uh, present right and now uh, he's asking about the manuscripts which are still present so my answer would be this rather than this we are not discussing the area of the manuscript we are discussing the uh, presence of the manuscript so the answer would be this so my point number b must also have a as the answer so only one option has b as uh, has b a as the answer in point number b as well as it has the answer in point uh, a as the answer in point number e so my answer would be option number a right so what did i do is i just solved two answers two questions and two sentences and by the knowledge of those two i could easily get to the answers because uh, i just eliminated all those options which were not uh, fitting in these two sentences right just for your information i'll tell you what are the meanings of all these words enormity is the wickedness right enormity stands for wickedness whereas enormousness uh, as we all know is related to size so this is wickedness and this is size extant we've just discussed extant is surviving or presence whereas extent is concerned with area exalted and exalted right uh, both of them are related to high order of persons right uh, but the only difference is that exalted is an adjective whereas uh, exalted ex exalted is a verb that the person is exalted right whereas exalted persons the, the people there's an adjective and it is a, a related to high order people the influential ones especially and specially the only difference is that especially is used for very particular purposes that you particularly pointing to especially could be for anybody and aid and aid we've already done aid is the help whereas aid is the person that helps you it's a assistant or something right so you just saw that we just solved only point number five and only point number two and we could reach to the answer very very conveniently this is what we do in the questions let's do another example related here right so again you can pause the video and apply this very same rule so as to find the answer right so let us take the uh, let us take the option uh, fifth question i try to avoid people who dash me it could be aggravate or irritate right now aggravate is to basically worsen something make it serious and irritate means uh, you know to annoy and since one person is being talked about so he can get irritated you cannot worsen a person you can irritate him annoy him so my answer would be irritate right based on this very fact i'll scan all the options um, and select the ones which have b as the answer right now only option number a and c say that fifth point will have b as the answer so i'll eliminate option number b b and d right now let's check where is the difference it says a a b a b it says a b a a b so let me take again the second option the second point right because in either case my answer to the first one would be a uh, that is for sure so i'll choose b food helps us to lead a dash life healthful and healthy obviously the answer is healthy this is something that we all know right so the answer is healthy so my option that says the second sentence will have b as the answer right and the fifth also will have b as the answer is only this option so my answer would be option number a right again i could eliminate the options and get to the answer just for your information i'll tell you the meanings of all of them grisly is related to horror whereas gristly is related to uh, is anything that is fibrous right so anything that is fibrous is grisly whereas grisly is that you know scares you or it is horror healthful and healthy healthy is uh, you know it's an adjective healthful that adds to health emigrated and immigrated emigrated is when somebody leaves his home country and goes out 
uh, to another country to live there. Whereas immigrated is somebody coming from a foreign country and starts living here, right? So if even if I check the answer, I'll say Martha dash from France. So now she's living in our country, so she immigrated from France, right? No, uh, sorry, she emigrated from France, right? Uh, no, he was uh, no incredible and incredulous. Incredible is uh, impossible to believe that you're so awestruck that uh, you're not able to believe this. And incredulous is unwilling to believe. A person who is obstinate that I'll not believe over this chance, so that person is incredible. So this is related to the nature of a person. So he's an obstinate person, whereas incredible is something that awestucks you. And aggravate and irritate, we've already done. Aggravate is to make something worsen, right? To worsen up something and irritate is to annoy, right? So just for information, I've told you the answers, but only solving the op uh, point number two as well as point number five, you, could you were able to give the answer to the question. Let's take another example. Now again, you can pause the video and uh, try and interpret the answers. Uh, now, first of all, let's discuss that how do I decide which which sentence out of the given five must I solve so as to eliminate the maximum number of options. Uh, now, if I I'll select that sentence that will eliminate minimum of two options out of the given five, right? Uh, given four as the answer options, right? Now here, if I come here, uh, if I if I choose this uh, point number or sentence number five. And I solve it, I'll be able to eliminate a minimum of two options, right? Out of the given answer options, right? Because why? A, B, A, B. So if answer is A, so the B answers would be left incorrect. And if it's B, then the, the A ones would be incorrect, right? So let us solve this question. The equipment does not need a battery or a dash. This chord relates to music, whereas this chord stands for a string. And since it is talking about a battery as well as something that will be able to charge the equipment, so it will take a string. So my answer here would be B. So based on that thing, I'll eliminate both uh, both the op answer option number A and C, right? So my, either my answer is B or it's D. And where is the difference in both of them? Only the in the sentence number four. Let us see what is the answer of sentence number four. The chief guest made a speech concerning the students' dash accomplishments. Both laudable and laudatory are praiseworthy. The only difference is that laudatory is used for speech or writings, whereas laudable is used only for the actions. And students have done something which is an action, so my answer here would be laudable and not laudatory. And based on that fact, I select my answer as option number B. Again, by solving just two sentences, I was able to get the correct answer. Just for your information, I'll tell you the meanings of the other ones as well. Ingenious is innocent. And ingenious is clever or, you know, intuitive. Sorry. Right. Insidious and invidious. Insidious is harmful. Whereas invidious is awkward. Intense and intensive, the only difference is that is of the uh, time period, intense efforts are long term, whereas uh, the uh, intensive efforts are short term. Laudable and laudative we have already done and called and called also done. So again, by solving only these two sentences, I was able to get the answer to option number B and I saved a lot of time solving these three. So which because at a minimum take 30 to 45 seconds. Let us take another example of the same question. Again, you can pause the window and try and find the answer. Now, uh, which sentence should I solve so as to eliminate the maximum number of options? I think we must solve sentence number 5 again. If I, send, uh, answer, if I read the sentence number 5, the common confusable has given us subsequently and consequently. Consequently always shows an effect of anything, that is, there's a uh, cause and consequently we have an effect. And subsequently is usually show, uh, used to show some postulate. Now, the climatic change or uh, ice age cannot be the 
effect of the predictions of mayan calendars yes mayan calendars can you know like it can give you the postulates as to climatic change or ice age but it cannot show the effects in both these things so my answer would be subsequently right and i'll eliminate all those options which say that the answer is consequently so consequently now i'll remove all, uh, option number a and d out of the given options now if i read option number b and c there's the only only letter that changes is this third letter thus if, if i solve the point number c i'll be able to give the correct answer very conveniently now persecute means to be hostile against someone right and pros, uh, prosecute is to carry some legal proceedings against someone now he's saying that uh, something is bad what can be bad being hostile or carrying proce uh, legal procedures obviously being hostile can be bad so i'll mark my answer as alternative number c so my correct answer is alternative number c we'll discuss the meanings of the other words as well just for your uh, knowledge otherwise we can solve the correct answer by the knowledge of only these two sentences loath and loath loath is unwilling and loath is basically disgust something that is really disgusting peddled and peddled this peddled we all know is to basically peddle something yeah, we, the boy peddled the cycle or the bicycle we all know that it comes from ped which is your foot right and this peddled stands for a person who deals in illegal drugs right so that person is a peddler we've done persecute and persecute let's discuss personal and person personal is any person it's a it's a rank and personal is of your own so we all know that so we've discussed all these four and you can very well imagine that if you know the answer to only these two you'll be able to get the answer correctly right let's take another example we have this question you can again uh, pause the video and try and find the answer to the question right now which Sentence should I also have to eliminate the maximum number of alternatives? Obviously, I, I conveniently find out that if I solve alternate uh, sentence number five, I'll be able to give the answer correctly, very, very correctly. So, what is the question? It says, and dash, it said, is a dwarfish hole, its body brevity, and with its soul. Right. Epigraph and epigram. Epigraph is uh, basically writing on some or something an epigram is your uh, uh, pun or a witty saying and it's a witty saying that is being discussed here so I'll select my alternative as option number B and I'll remove both these alternatives from the given options right now which uh, which what else should I solve if I solve this my, I'll get my answer very conveniently again so let us see his explanations were to the point and being of uh, to the point of being uh, simple or simplistic simplistic is that you treat uh, <clears throat> something superficially easy although it's not easy but you just treat that thing to be easy and simple is convenient so my answer would be option number b why because i'm saying his explanations were to the point of being simplistic that is he was superficiating that uh, he was superficially treating as that they were simple but they actually were not so from this i come across that my last <clears throat> from the fifth sentence i say that it should be b and even from the first sentence it, i say it should be b if both of them are b only in one uh, option which is option number a so my answer is option number a right just for your knowledge i'll tell you uh, the meaning of the other ones as well so we know simple is convenient that is easy right and simplistic is that is superficially treated as easy but it is actually not scrimp and skimp scrimp is thrifty the one who is not very uh, like who thinks twice before pay, uh, spending money conveniently and skimp is again somebody who thinks twice but it is a negative word it's being parsimonious right so both of them mean the same but scrimp is a compliment whereas skimp is a comment ragged and red ragged is painful right and wrecked is basically that has deteriorated right trooper and trooper trooper is a private soldier this is something that you already know and trooper trooper is uh, 
any person who has been into this entertainment industry, the veteran and in entertainment industry, he's been entertaining people. He, it can be an actor, singer, dancer, anybody, but he's been into this entertainment industry since long. He's a veteran at the same time. Epigraph and epi epigram we've already discussed. But you know that if you could, if you have solved these two questions, like these two sentences, you were able to get to the answer conveniently. Wait. Let's take another example. Again, you may pause the video and find the answer to the question. Now, which sentence should I solve so as to get the answer by or to eliminate the maximum number of alternatives? Um, you can do it by either of these. Let's take the first sentence itself. Catabolism is a dash metabolism. Destructive and destroying. Destroying is the continuous form. It's a verb. Whereas destructive is a noun. And heron or an adjective as well. Right. So here I need to fill out a verb or a noun, obviously an adjective or a noun. So my answer would be A. Right. So I'll eliminate option number D and B out of the given alternatives. Now let's see uh, where is the difference. Uh, B and this. So if I answer the, uh, answer the third sentence correctly, I'll be able to get the answer. The, let's see what is the third sentence. The third sentence says the company is known for its discriminating or discriminatory practices. Obviously here also I need to fill an adjective and discriminatory is adjective. So my answer would be alternative number A. Right. So that is very conveniently. This is only based on your knowledge of, uh, you know, I could answer this based on the knowledge of your nouns and adjectives and verbs itself. You need not to even think about anything else. This question was very convenient and very, very simple. Right. Uh, just for your knowledge, I'll tell you the meanings of all of them. Destructive and destroying the verb and adjective difference. Foolish and foolhardly. Foolhardy is basically careless. Whereas foolish is, as we all know, what does it mean? Discriminating and discriminatory, again the same difference. Palette and palette. Uh, palette is a mattress made of straws. So it's a straw mattress, right, uh, upon which you can sleep. And palette is that uh, thing, that's, uh, that tray upon which you mix the colors. So that color mixing thing is a palette. Felicitous and uh, fortitudes. Fortitudes comes from fortune, which is by chance. Something that happens by chance happens for tattoos. Felicitous is the most appropriate way. Right? So this is uh, what all of the means. Again, we have this question. You can again pause the video and try and, and interpret the answer by your own self. Just try doing it by eliminating the most options. Right? Now, <clears throat> if you uh, have to choose which answer should you give so as to eliminate the maximum number of alternatives I'll go by the sentence number one so gorillas are fermenting or fermenting revolution all over the nation fermenting is the process that happens wherein the bacteria acts upon the substance to ferment it or release the uh, internal layer of carbon dioxide and fermenting is provo provoking somebody or instigating somebody right and gorillas are the specific type of soldiers so obviously they'll be uh, fermenting something so here, convert me, the first sentence must be marked as B in the answer. So I'll remove this and this from the alternatives and I have this and this as the available alternatives. Right. Now, uh, the only difference comes here in the fourth and fifth option. Let us take the fifth sentence. The fifth sentence says, butterflies are difficult to dispose of and uh, contain harmful heavy metal compounds that dash into the soil. This leech is basically drain or seep and this leech is a specific type of a worm. And obviously we are talking about something that is going into the soil so it will seep into the soil or leach into the soil. So I'll mark A as the alternative. So B in the first sentence, A in the fourth sen uh, fifth sentence, the answer would be option number B. Right. So by the knowledge of again two sentences I was able to get the answer correct. Let us uh, discuss the meanings of the other ones as well. Uh, fermenting and fermenting is already done. Vile is basically unpleasant. And bile is a juice uh, that, has, that basically acts in your stomach so as to digest the food. It is also used for anger. Amend and amend. Amend is to make correct. 
correct something and amend is to change something change a little much right so both of them differ that amendments are made just to alter something whereas amend is to correct something lighten and lighten this lighten is to make it less heavy and this lightening is what you see in the sky right so let's take another example here and again you can pause the video and try and find the answer just do that by the knowledge of, by the way that we are doing it right now right so if you have to select the answer which sentence should I select let us take uh, the uh, if I if I choose uh, the option uh, the sentence number three might be I'll be able to eliminate maximum number of alternatives so let us take the uh, option uh, the sentence number three and solve it first to restrain and refrain from attacking is an art of circumstances restrain is to stop somebody whereas refrain is to stop your own self right and here the person is talking about himself so i will select b as the alternative and i'll eliminate these two options from my given alternatives right so because restraining is about somebody else whereas refraining is about yourself and it's art of circumstance and you're basically talking about your own self so you select that this as your alternative now let us see where is the difference the difference lies in b as well as these two so you can solve either of these which one whichever you feel like let us take this as well uh, this may sound trivial but i can dash you it's important assure is assuring someone with ensure is cross-checking so i'll choose this and my answer uh, must have second sentence as a whereas the third sentence as b which happens here so my answer is option number c right so why did i do so because uh, while solving i say that here i'm talking about my own self so it will be refraining yourself and here i'm talking about uh, be giving a surety to somebody else you are giving the surety you will be assuring if you are getting or you're cross-checking you'll be ensuring so my answer uh, in my answer sequence the second sentence must be a and the third must be b which is here so my answer is c right let us discuss the meanings of the other ones as well uh, amenable is easily controlled you can take the person who is very meek or docile right so you can control that person immediately whereas amendable is that can be amended. Cash it and cash. Cash it is a state of being admired. It's the state where people start admiring you. And cash is hidden. Small things which are hidden together. Nutritional and nutritious. Uh, we all know the difference between nutritional and nutritious. Let us go to another question. The question number uh, ninth of our discussion. You just Again, pause the video and try and write the answers. Now, if I have to choose that sentence that will eliminate the maximum number of alternatives, I will select sentence number one as that option because it will eliminate minimum of two alternatives. Now, if I go by the uh, sentence number one, uh, abstainism, that is abstaining yourself from drinking alcohol or, any, you know, or taking any drugs, never used to be common among effluent and affluent people. Now, effluent are the byproducts of any reaction, right? And affluent is rich. So obviously, we're talking about people, and people cannot be byproducts, so they'll be affluent. So my first sentence must, the uh, the answer to the first sentence must be B. So I eliminate this and this from the alternatives. Now, where is the difference? The difference lies here in fourth and fifth sentence. So if I solve either of these, I'll get the answer correct. Let us discuss uh, the sentence number five. Studying mathematics can help us solve many scientific problems of our own perspective or perspective. This is very convenient. We'll say the answer is perspective. Perspective is speculated or expected. Perspective is our viewpoint. So obviously we are talking about our viewpoint. So my answer to this will also be B. Right. And the first and the last must be B, which is happening only in A. So my answer is option number just for your knowledge, let us discuss the meaning of the others. Ale is the passage or the gangway between the seats. It's the gangway between the seats, the, that passage, the, 
supposedly here are the chairs and this empty space here this empty space is an ale and ale is an island bow is to bend down whereas bow is basically your uh, main branch of the tree the the trunk sort of a thing right complacent and complacent uh, complacent is agreeable the one who agree easily and complacent is self satisfied right so uh, if you know the meanings of any of these you'll be able to give the answers and if you know uh, if you know the meanings of only these two as well you'll be getting the correct answer most conveniently let's take another example the soul uh, you can again pause the video if you want to and try and interpret the answers just do that by your own, uh, by the same method now if i have to select some question that will remove the maximum alternatives the sentence that i'll choose would be sentence number c his arms closed like wise wise round sun and without a word he began to sob like a child right now wise is a, a tool whereas wise is a wise is a immoral person or somebody under a wise president so it's both of them a lower rank or immoral right now we talk about like dash round sun right so it's more of a tool so i'll select this as a so my answer to the third would be a so here it is a here it is a so i'll eliminate these two which uh, now that way is if i answer the first correctly i'll be getting the answer now right uh, the soldier took a break from digging trenches and rested against the both these things right uh, now this bold word is a wide street between which is lined with trees so this is a big street which is lined with trees on the sides so this is something like this right and this is a wall a defense wall now the soldier is resting against something that is just kept his place his back onto something so obviously it would be a bell work so this should be b first sentence b third sentence a the alternative becomes option number b right so from the knowledge of the first and third i was able to give the answer correctly just for your knowledge i'll tell you the meanings of the other ones as well uh, slight uh, this slight means to deceive somebody smartly and this is very less small right while and while we've already done while is an extremely unpleasant thing or a person and while is a cunning person rather a witty person a very witty person you why right quench and quell quench is to satisfy by drinking something whereas quell is to put an end put to put an end to something by force so when you are drinking something or to satisfy yourself so you are quenching whereas quell is basically to end something by force So that gets us to the end of the discussion of common confusable questions. This is a very convenient and a very scoring part. Uh, just by answering two or three sentences at the max, we'll be able to get the answers correctly. Right? Just practice maximum of these so as we'll be able to score most in this topic at least. If you've not understood how to deal with these questions, you can redo the entire video again. And uh, just for your practice, please do refer to the. a uh, video of common confusables uh, the part 1 of it where we have discussed many different tricks by which you can memorize the common confusables and if you've done both the videos you'll be very much equipped with answering these questions thank you and have a nice day